Okay, this event is this um, exercise is going to go over using the reliability monitor. In this exercise, we're going to use that to check the status of the computer. And the mindset is the reliability monitor is a tool that can determine the reliability of a system, including allowing you to see whether any recent changes have been made to the system itself. The approximate lab time on this is about 15 minutes. So we're going to go over to server one, and I'm on server one. And we're going to start regedit. So we're going to right click, run, R E G, and then E D I T. Okay, so we're going to run regedit and go this is our registry editor and we want to go to expand this a little bit h key local machine so we're going to go here and expand and go to software and expand go to microsoft and expand go to scroll down to refine reliability It's right here and we want to expand that as well and click on WMI <clears throat> in the right pane we're going to double click on WMI enable and type in one and then OK Now we're going to close the registry editor and the server manager, go to tools and go to task scheduler. In the left pane we're going to go to the task scheduler library and expand that. Expand Microsoft, expand Windows, and go down to RAC. We're going to right click the rack task and choose enable. And now we're going to right click it again and click run. And if you're following along the lab manual, you'll go ahead and take a screenshot of this. Now we're going to go ahead and close out of Task Scheduler and go down to our Start. And run. And we're going to type in P-E-R-F-M-O-N space forward slash R-E-L. And it's going to run the reliability monitor. <coughs> the next question, do you have any events? If you don't have any events, why are the events not displayed? So, do we see any events? So, Although you've enabled the components necessary for the reliability monitor, it might take some time for the events to be captured. All right. And then the next question, were there any problems reported? The answers are going to vary. Most likely you're only going to see driver software installation installed. So we're going to look at the bottom of the screen and view all problems, view all problem reports. And that's exactly what we saw. <clears throat> we'll go ahead and click on OK. And it might, again, take some time for this to populate. So I'm just going to go ahead and do OK. And that is the end of this exercise and the end of this video.